In a weird way, I'm kind of impressed that it's now April of 1986, and everyone is still copying Zevius. Argus had only been out in arcades for about two months when Jalico released the Famicom version, and it wears its Zevius influences on its sleeve. You have a bomb attack, but the only things that you can bomb are power-ups and bonuses. It's totally unnecessary, but it's here because everybody has to be like Zevius. Of course, Argus is just about forgotten. One more simple space shooter from an era of simple space shooters. For the people who do remember it, there's one thing that sticks out in their mind. Argus is crazy hard. And in this case, it comes by that difficulty fairly. Your ship is a bit pokey, but it's really hard because enemies come in fast, they target you well, and they've got a tendency to move in a way that will intercept you. It's also easy to get your movement restricted. Any gray objects are ones that you can collide with, and you'll find pipes that you have to go through and breakable spots to shoot through. But those restrict your movement, and the enemies don't stop coming. Just surviving to the second stage is a real accomplishment here. The power-up system in Argus is a little bit funky. You get a power-up by bombing three panels. In the lower right-hand corner, it's constantly cycling to show you how many of each panel you've hit. Blow up three Bs, and you get a force field that lasts for about 15 seconds. You can't shoot while it's up, which means you have to run into things to defeat them. Shoot out three P panels, and you double your ship's forward firepower. The L panels are bonus points at the end of the stage. You alternate between which guns your ship is using between stages. On odd-numbered stages, you use a forward shooting laser. On even-numbered stages, you fire this triple-angled shot that bounces everywhere. The spread shot's actually a worse gun in this game because it slows your rate of fire quite a bit. At the end of every stage, you're attacked by this flying saucer, just like in Zevius. And just like in Zevius, you have to bomb the core. It's not always open, so you'll have to pick your shot. After you take down the flying saucer, you have to land safely at your base. This is a little bit tricky to do properly. The key is to pull back and push forward, and try to keep it on the line. And at the very bottom, just go slow. There's only three stages in Argus, so what that means is on the second loop, you wind up using the other weapon that you didn't use the first time. If for some reason you find Argus to be too difficult, like everyone else who ever played it, there is an invulnerability cheat code. Hold down select on player 2, and then press start on player 1. It's a code that no one could have performed in 1986, since the second player controller on the original Famicom doesn't have a select button. But those of us playing on an AV Famicom, or using an NES, can go ahead and do that. And that's all there really is to Argus. It's a straightforward game, and it's fine. It is definitely a second tier shooter, but if you want to be challenged, there's certainly a lot worse. And I just noticed, but this episode's going to be going up on the 35th anniversary of the game's release. So happy birthday, Argus. At least someone remembered you.